we were continuing x thirteen fifteen power port. And in between, we left somewhere in between. So I start from there. And what to all of you who are there? What's fourteen mentions before this? I want to say that Nanda Maharaj invited. Such qualified brahmanas in in this uh, auspicious occasion. So already the qualities of brahmana has been mentioned last week. We heard that what should be a quality of a real brahmin. Verse fourteen mentions pavitra shuddhi. In any ritualistic ceremony, many herbs and leaves were required. Still today, we use cow dung, cow urine, just to put this on the ground to purify. Because to cow, we don't see in India. That the cow is a common animal, four-footed animal. No, that's why it's cow dung. We cannot call it shit. It's cow urine. It's very powerful. We cannot count cow urine in the context of any other living entities. Urine. So this cow dung is also count as a herb, and cow urine. Also count as a medicine, and before also so many herbs. Even one to present day when we do sit for doing some yagya, you might have been seen that how many different kinds of herbs required, and leaves and different different things required. These were known as pavitra, known as pavitra patra. Pavitra means pious. And it was called pavitra aushadi. Aushadi means medicine. Pavitra means pious. So these herbs and leaves were pious medicines. Pavitra pat patra. Sometimes these were nimba neem leaves. Sometimes bay leaves, wood apple, mango leaves, aswatha leaves. And amalaki leaves. Amalaki means amla. This dhatri fall, the dhatri fruit that we generally offer to Sri Vishnu, or you can say Sri Krishna. For us, we offer this to Sri Krishna or Radharan. Similarly, there were pancha gavya, pancha sasya, and pancha ratna. Gavya. The ga word is in the context of go. So gub can be only from cow. Gub be only from cow, like uh, with milk, yogurt, ghee, buttermilk, and butter. So these type things are pancha gubbe. Pancha rasasya and pancha ratna. Pancha ratna means sasya. I am not confirmed that what is this, but pancha ratna is five different kind of jewels, precious stones. Although Nanda Maharaj belonged to the Vaishya community, everything was known to him. He was a business mind person, so. He was knowing each and every thing very nicely. 
द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड इन दीज वर्सेज इज महागुणम महागुणम आई लेवल क्वालिटीज इंडिकेटिंग दैट द ब्राह्मणाज वेयर ऑफर्ड वेरी पैलेटेबल फूड ऑफ एग्जाल्टेड क्वालिटी such palatable dishes were generally prepared such palatable dishes were generally prepared with with two things namely food grains and milk product i think this panch sasya is are in the context of grain so this palatable dishes were generally prepared with two things namely food grains and milk product yogurt chaat ghee butter bhagavad gita therefore enjoins that human society must give protection to the cows and encourage agriculture krishi go rakshakya vanidyam vaishya karma swabhavanam means this is the this was the duty of vaishya to take care of cow to protect cow to take care of uh, yagya and to take care of economic empowerment of any particular place simply by expert cooking hundreds and thousands of palatable dishes can be prepared from agricultural produce and milk products this is indicated here by the words annam maha gunam with lot of potential and lot of different quality is still today in india from these two things namely food grains and milk hundreds and thousands of varieties of food are prepared and then they are offered to the supreme personality of god chatur vidha shri bhagavat prasad patram pushpam phalam toyam yo me bhaktya prekshati then the prasad is distributed even today in jagannath kshetra and other big temples very palatable dishes are offered to the deity this is the one of the reason in our temple by the help of devotee and by the mercy of sri lagurudev our this prem prasad program is continuing since years and very wonderful things that devotees from the different parts of the world they are contributing and being the witness of this a uh, prasad distribution program that this offering is reaching to each and everybody outside not only inside the temple of the people no it's going outside and each and everybody is getting the benefit of this maha prasad offered by radham offered to radham mohan so this vision is not a small vision this prem prasad vision is really vision of love that each and after even after having this kind of lab laminated food the general people common people those are not aware can get a chance to be a slight or the tiny consciousness in their awareness so they will turn them will be able to turn themselves to radha mohan and can make their life totally transform from material to spiritual this is the vision behind prem prasad as much i can understand can be other big vision of srila gudeva and the senior devotees but as much i can understand this is the reason to purify with the offered food the present situation of the ordinary and valuable all type of other people also to bring them to turn them towards radha mohan then they should also can gain benefit and whatever the suffering they have they can understand 
what is the real meaning to be in Vrindavan, to come Vrindavan, what is the meaning to have Darshan, what is the meaning of Radharani, and what is the meaning of Sri Krishna. And I hope with this kind of help or with this kind of seva, the ordinary and common people can also be, be able by the mercy of Srimati Radhikas to bring a little impact of the spirituality in their life. And then further, Radharani may help them to go further in spiritual. In even today in Jagannath Kshetra and other big temples, very palatable dishes are offered to the deity. And prasada is distributed profusely. Cooked by first class brahmanas with expert knowledge and then distributed to the public. This prasada is also a blessing from the brahmanas or Vaishnavas. There are four kinds of prasada. Chatur vidha. Salty. Sweet, sour, and pungent. Tastes are made with different types of spices. And the food is prepared in four divisions. Called charvya. That the food that we can eat by chewing, consume by chewing with our teeth. Chusya. The food that we can suck with our lips. Or mouth. Lehia and Pehia. Lehia means that we can lick with our tongue and the Pehia that we can drink. Prasada that is chewed, Prasada that is Prasada that is chewed, Prasada that is licked. Prasada tasted with the tongue and prasada that is drunk. The four qualities, varieties. Thus, there are many varieties of prasada prepared, prepared by very nicely with grains and ghee. Oh, offered to the deity and distributed to the brahmanas and vaishnavas and then to the general public. This is the way of human society. Killing the cows and spoiling the land will not solve the problem of food. This is not civilization. Uncivilized men living in the jungle and being unqualified to produce food by agriculture and cow protection may eat animals. But a perfect human society advanced in knowledge must learn how to produce first class food simply by agriculture and protection of cows. We, if we want to say something in the glory of Prabhupada, we cannot say after reading all these things. That how far he is able to see and how clearly he has reason to distribute to knowledge through this Srimad Bhagavatam book. This uh, literature, this holy book, to the people to understand many different things that people are totally unaware. But Prabhupada had some vision he wanted, and maybe he was knowing that what will happen, definitely need to reach proper knowledge to the people. By understanding even the mind of the Western world, he Try to do something for the well wish of Western world. Text 16. Kava Sarva Guno Peta Vasas Prum Rukmalini Atmaja Puti Darthaya Pradate Chan Unjata Kava Sarva Guno Peta Vasas Rukmam Malini Atmaja Bhu Dayarthaya Pradate Chan Vayunjata Nanda Maharaj, for the sake of the affluence of his own son, Krishna, gave the Brahmana's cow fully decorated with garments, flower, garlands, and gold necklace. 
when a father is happy on the such occasion that doing by son is a really he is so joyful so he is ready to give anything in this happiness these cows fully qualified to give ample milk were given to the brahmanas in charity and the brahmanas accepted them and bestowed blessings upon the whole family and especially upon krishna this is a very beautiful part of leela that the brahmanas are blessing to sri krishna <laughs> Uh, <laughs> actually he has given the some uh empowered brahmanas with his love out of his love actually and then uh, here in leela we can see that he is getting the blessings from ramna very beautiful this is means beyond and hidden hiddenly when brahmanas in their uh, uh, sadhana this is also very important that how they chant the krishna's name all the time and they these brahmanas are giving blessing to krishna inside they are smiling and knowing everything some of the brahmanas are what blessings we can give you you giving blessings to the billions of universe but even you given this duty to us to show the other people that what they can how their behavior will be how much respect they can give to brahmanas and cows in the society as becoming a good real vaishnava so this is the only was the reason that krishna wanted to show for the coming years that you have to respect who is a real brahmin or vaish nanda maharaj first fed the brahmanas some sumptuously and then gave them in charity first class cow fully decorated with golden necklace garments and flower garlands text 17 vipra mantra vidho yuktas tarya pravtas thashisha ta nishpala bhavishyanti na kada chidapi spram the brahmanas who were completely expert in chanting the vedic hymns were all yogis fully equipped with mystic powers whatever blessings they spoke were certainly never fruitless proper brahmanas fully equipped with the brahmanical qualification are always yogis fully powerful in mystic yoga their words never fail in every transaction with other members of society brahmanas are certainly dependable in this age however one must take into account that the brahmanas are uncertain in their qualification because they are no yagyik yagyik brahmanas brahmanas also forgetting their duties daily duties what they need to do gayatri seva to the fire doing every day yagya three times gayatri keeping sutra uh, keeping uh shikha tilak they feel shameful young generation brahmanas children they feel shameful to uh, shameful to keep tilak to keep to keep shikha but good in some holy places like varanasi and vrindavan rishikesh or haridwar or the south of india kanchi koti peet rameshwaram at these places all chatur three in chaturvarnas three pillars of the society they are keeping shikha sutra and tilak they didn't forget some of them are remembering but most of them forgotten actually this is true 
बिकॉज दे आर नो यज्ञिक ब्राह्मणास ऑल यज्ञास आर फॉर बी डेन द ओनली यज्ञ रेकमेंडेड इन दिस एज इज संकीर्तन यज्ञ निताय गौर हरि बाल हरि बाल हरि बाल हरि बाल निताय गौर हरि बाल हरि बाल हरि बाल हरि बाल दिस इज द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ श्रीमान महा दिस इज द मार्सी ऑफ नित्यानंद प्रभु कैचिंग द पीपल asking begging them oh one time one time chant this holy name with out of your mouth one time please i don't need anything any bhiksha i need only this bhiksha chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare only this nityanand prabhu was begging to the people going to door and door my god how they will chant are they will not chant by unless we don't go first we have to chant in front of them when they will see us chanting then they will say if they are even they are not doing catch them bring them hold their hand and bring them ask them beg them to chant this holy name once they will chant they will be free from all difficulties The only yagna recommended in this is of sankirtana, naam sankirtan yagna, yoga dharma sankirtan Hare Krishna Maham. Yagni sankirtana prayer yajananti hi sumeda sa agvatam eleventh canto fifth chapter thirty two verse. Yagna is meant to satisfy Vishnu. यज्ञार्थ कर्मनो नेत्र लोको यान कर्मना बंधना बिकॉज इन दिस एज देर आर नो क्वालिफाइड ब्राह्मणास पीपल शुड परफॉर्म यज्ञ बाय चैंटिंग द हरे कृष्ण मंत्र यज्ञ संकीर्तना प्रेर य जानती ही सुमेध सह लाइफ इज मीट फॉर यज्ञ and a yagya is performed by the chanting of hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare text stating ekadaroham arudam laliyanti sudam sati garimanam chishor bodum nage he giri kutvat one day a year after krishna's appearance Mother Yashoda was patting her son on her lap, but suddenly she felt the child to be heavier than a mountain peak, and she could no longer bear his weight. or poor lalayanti sometimes a mother lifts her child and when the child falls in her hands sometimes a mother lifts her child and when the child falls in her hands the child laughs like holding a baby going up and then again catching the baby when mother do this the child laughs and the mother also enjoys pleasure yashoda used to do this but this time krishna became very heavy and she could not bear his weight under the circumstances it is to be understood that krishna was aware of the coming of trinavrata sura krishna was knowing everything who take him far away from his mother this is the part of the vidya krishna knew 
so he just increased his weight in the lap of her mother his mother krishna knew that when trinavrata came and took him away from his mother's lap mother yashoda would be greatly bereaved he did not want his mother to suffer any difficulty from the demon therefore because he is the source of everything janma dayasya yatah he assumed the heaviness of the entire universe the child was on the lap of yashoda who was therefore in possession of everything in the world so this heaviness was not a ordinary heaviness <laughs> he collected all the entire universe heaviness then he made the mother yashoda to just put him down the child was on the lap of yashoda who was therefore in possession of everything in the world but when the child assumed such heaviness she had to put him down in order to give trinavrata sura an opportunity to take him away and play with him for some time before the child returned to the lap of his mother until he is in mother lap trinavrata will not come because the power of mother and i should then he tried the late increase our weight my weight so she will put me on the floor and that will be a chance for trinavrata sura to take me and with that the one part of leela i will also will be near to uh, conclude text 19 bhuma nidhayatam gopi bismita bhar pidita mahapurush maradyo jagatamas karmasu feeling the child to be as heavy as the entire universe and therefore being anxious thinking that perhaps the child was being attacked by some other ghost or demon the astonished mother yashoda put the child down on the ground and began to think of narayana for raising for seeing disturbances she called for the brahmanas to counteract this heaviness and then she engaged in her other household affairs she had no alternative than to remember the lotus feet of narayan for she could not understand that krishna was the original source of everything what for mother yashoda did not understand that krishna is the heaviest of all heavy things and that krishna rests within everything matastani sarvabhutani so if you if you go to see definitely krishna is heaviest as confirmed in bhagavad gita maya tatam idam sarvam jagat avyakta murtina krishna is everywhere in his impersonal form and everything rests upon him nandales nacham tesva avasthita krishna is not everywhere madhareshwa was unable to understand this philosophy because she was dealing with krishna as his real mother by the arrangement of yoga maya one two things are there one at one place it is written krishna rests within everything and here saying that krishna is not everywhere why madhureshwar was unable to understand this philosophy because she was dealing with krishna as his real mother she never felt that she is not real mother of krishna she never thought 
that Krishna is Bhagavan. My Krishna, my Kaniya, my Gopal, my, 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 my. I am her everything and he is my everything. As his real mother by the arrangement of Yoga Maya. Okay. Not understanding the importance of Krishna. How much powerful from where came Goloka, Kaikuntha, Das, Dasi. Huh? So much power. Anant Brahman, Korti Nayak. All this not Nara and Vishnu. Nothing. She was not understanding. She could only seek shelter of Narayan for Krishna's safety. Even she was taking the shelter of Narayan for whom? For Krishna's safety, not for herself. And call the Brahmanas to counteract the situation. This all was happening because of the deep connection, deep love. Very strong, intense, real, with full of honesty. Text 20. Dekhyo namna trinavarta kansa vritya pranodita chakrabhat sarupena jahara sinam sinam abharakam. While the child was sitting on the ground, a demon named trinavarta spinning. A state of our mind. Mind is also spinning. Who was the servant of kansa came there as a whirlwind at kansa's instigation and very easily carried the child away into the air. Child nature that he is completely in ignorance. It is not like that Trinavarta can come to us also. If this mind is spins all the time in unnecessary possibilities, searching in unnecessary possibilities, it's the same like Trinavarta. Means we are ordinary child under the control of Trinavarta. Easily possibly to get captured. Very easily. That's why in the spiritual world Facilities are there during the category. If you cannot do this, do this. If you cannot do this, do this. Means 64 kind of different seva. Involve yourself in any kind to keep away Trinavarta. Involve yourself in, in any kind of the 64 things. But we don't know. Sometime, as Sri Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, Mama Maya Durati Yaya. So this Maya is my pet, definitely. But sometime this Maya put me, even me, in confusion. What about what about ordinary person? Definitely. She can disturb my devotees also. But my devotees need to be very careful, very careful, conscious. Those who are everyday practicing to the, put the mind in the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika, Sri Mohan, bringing their mind in any situation, whenever they feel, my God, what happening now? This is not good. Bringing their mind in the lotus feet of Sri Radharani and Krishna. Typically, at that same time, they both, Radharani is there to help. Radharani is there. She is ready all the time to do all nice things for us. We are missing. We are mistaking. We are forgetting. We are feeling shame. We are, we are miser, don't want to go in front of her. 
don't want to talk don't want to ask how are you how was the day today what did you eat are you feeling comfortable today is what is order for me aha today you are looking so beautiful my god what type of necklace you have what type of earrings you have we don't we go near having darshan we need to be very happy after having darshan we relish inside our heart after having darshan oh my god this dress this bangles earrings nose pin kajal uh, lipstick hair style all everything thinking about eyes beautiful oh angrag everything we forget when we go when we come back then again forget <laughs> okay it's not the thing of one day people devotee practice gradually then they reach definitely because the options are open only for devotees not for non devotees so we should not need to become sad always need to be positive and hopeful by just doing non stopable stopable without forgetting need to do this we should not forget for part krishna's heaviness was unbearable for the child's mother but when trinavarta sura came he immediately carried the child away even by the, after the increasing weight this was another demonstrations of krishna's inconceivable energy when the trinavarta demon came krishna became lighter than the grass so that the demon could carry him away this why this was anand chinmaya rasa krishna's blissful transcendental pleasure why he need to do all this leela why he need to? simply need to come to kill kamsa but just sitting in his golok brindavan was also possible the only thing i can think this was the love of brajavasis he came and he was also loving brajavasis a lot and considering my people then from the beginning of childhood as an infant he started killing from putna as an infant he started doing seva of brajavasi so by all these small leela he performed we need to understand that our behavior what should be our behavior with brajavasi need to be careful if we really want mercy of simrad hari स्ट्रॉंग वर्ल्ड विंड कवर्ड एवरी वन विजन एंड बिगेन वाइब्रेटिंग एवरीवेयर with a greatly fearful sound it just came to make fearful to brajwas purple trinavrata sura assumed the form of a whirlwind and covered with a dust storm the whole tract of land known as goloka as gokula sorry so that no one could see even the nearest thing means there was a under of a storm created around the city text 22 muhurtam bhavat goshtam rajasa tamsa vritam sutam yashoda napashyat tasmin 
For a moment, the whole pasturing ground was overcast with dense darkness from the dust storm. And the mother Ishoda was unable to find her son where she had placed him. This completely storm you will not able to see. Napashit Kashtanatmanam Param Chapi Bimohita Trina Vartan Nisrishabi Sarkara Biru Sarkara Biru Prakrita Because of the beats of sand thrown about by Trinavrata, because of the bits of sand thrown about by Trinavrata, people could not see themselves or anyone if it was so dusty. And thus they were illusioned and disturbed. They were thinking that which type of Maya this is. Text 24. Iti Karpavan Chakrapan Suvarse Supad Bimbala Bilakshamata Atikarunu Manuas Marantya Shochad Bhubi Patita Mritabat Sakayatha Gahu. Because of the dust storm stirred up by the strong whirlwind, Mother Ishwada could find no trace of her son, nor could she understand why. Thus she fell down on the ground like a cow who has lost her calf and began to lament very pitifully. Mother Yashoda was very painful situation. It happens. Mother Yashoda put Krishna out of her lap. Even for a short while, she became de detached with Krishna, attached with worldly, worldly different things. Then she came in the painful situation. The present situation is also like this, we've forgotten. And blaming each other for our situation. No. We've, we've forgotten something very important. The all situation in the material world is because of that. Little heaviness came. Mother Yashoda put Krishna on the ground. And then after looking, because attachment is there, she cannot live without Krishna. But she didn't find. And then, was so much attached that without, without not finding any trace of her son and fell down on the ground like a cow when this cow lost his calf and began to lament very pitifully. Text 25 Rudhita Manus Nishamya Tatra Gopyo Prish Manu Tapta Dhyo Ashru Purna Mukhya Ruru Duru Nulapya Bhya Nanda Sunum Pavan Parat Pan Pansu Varsavay again. When the force of the dust is torn and the winds subsided Yeshoda's friends, the other gopis approached Mother Yeshoda, hearing her pitifully crying, not seeing Krishna present. They too felt very much aggrieved and joined Mother Yeshoda in crying. Their eyes full of tears. Purple. This attachment of the gopis to Krishna is wonderful and transcendental. The center of all the activities of the gopis was only Krishna. When Krishna was there, they were happy. And when Krishna was not there, 
they were unhappy. Thus, when Mother Yasoda was lamenting Krishna's absence, the other ladies also began to cry. Text twenty-six. It still happened in the Indian society when some sort of whole situation is the with the neighbor. The ladies from the neighbor side they visit this house and give condolence to the, the what what happened I means situation type of this house what happened to this lady. They go near and they also cry with this lady and share her sorrow with with them. So this was also happening that time that the ladies came to the mother of the house. Gave her condolence. Not seeing Krishna present, they too felt very much aggrieved and joined Mother Shuddha in crying. They also found that Krishna is not there. Go other gopis of the neighbor, and they felt too much, very much aggrieved and joined Mother Shuddha. In crying, their eyes full of tears. The attachment of the gopis to Krishna is wonderful and transcendental. The center of all the activities of the gopis was Krishna. When Krishna was there, they were happy. Obviously, this is the difference between devotee and non-devotee. When Krishna is there, devotee is happy. When Krishna is not there, Devotee is not happy. And in the material world, people are anyhow happy. Krishna is there or not? Uh, Krishna, ah, okay, okay. Something like ah, Vrindavan playing with Rala, Radha, standing with Radha Nani, one lady. Okay, I discuss. That's it. Purport. No, text 26. Rinavarta Shantarayo Vatyaru Dharo Haraha Krishnamna Nabogata Gantum Nasakru the Buddhi Bharvit. Having assumed the form of the forceful whirlwind, the demon Rinavarta took Krishna very high in the sky. But when Krishna became heavier, then the demon the demon had to stop his force. We could, could not go no fur, further. I think this is our concluding time. And uh, next week we will be proper.